So, Gabriel, hello. What's up, man? How are you? It's good to finally meet. I'm so well. I'm so well. Good to, good to finally speak. Okay, so, yeah, I just wanted to kind of um, get a little bit of background on you and, and, and what's going on and, 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 and what, where things are headed, etc. Uh, oh, yeah. so I just thought I would I would start it out asking about how how this sort of the Gabriel Black project in a sense came together and, and, and what was the catalyst for that? Where was your where was your mind at when you when you first started started making tunes? Yeah, I mean I've been making music for a while, but um I moved to LA about a year and a half ago and that was really like pivotal in finding like who I was artistically and stuff like that. Um I I I uh became friends with a group of guys out there that helped me kind of like just see where I was going musically and stuff. I mean, I've always kind of been doing the mix between like alt rock and hip hop with like R&B thrown in there. That's always kind of been like a main thing that I've done, but I really figured out my like sound and my style in the last like year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and so as you said, you, you take influence from you know, quite a range of genres from whether it be the, the, the old the alternative and the R and B and then and the, the emo the sort of early emo influences in there as well. I mean, how do you do you find it challenging to sort of uh channel all of those styles into like a singular singular piece of output, singular uh, you know, in terms of musicality? No, I mean it's not something that like I do like on purpose. It just kind of naturally happens. I I think I just like subconsciously draw from my uh, draw from like the the music I listened to when I was younger. I honestly don't listen to that much music now, other than like what I'm working on. Um, it's it's uh I mean I'm hip to everything that's like going on in music and stuff like that, but. I think the influence comes from like what I listened to when I was younger, and it's just like subconsciously comes through. It's nothing planned. Okay, so so it's a it's a reflection of 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 the music that you were surrounded by when you were younger. So, have you got any examples of that, or, or, or better, is the environment that you were in is, does that come through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I listened to. Uh, what did I listen to when I was younger? Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, Nirvana, uh, Kid Cudi, Kanye West, um, My Chemical Romance, like stuff like that. I was I was kind of in two worlds. I uh, I kind of grew up with both like the rock kids and the hip hop kids, so I I got both at an early age. Um, my mom also put me on to music when I was younger. She showed me the Red Hot Chili Peppers and Marvin Gaye, so that was a big thing. Yeah, yeah, and 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 um, so you're you you sort of from 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 your your animations and the videos and and, and uh, the things that I've seen at least, you appear to sort of created this uh, your own your own world in a sense centered in, in 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 this bedroom and 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 in your subconscious. Do you, do you think it's important to have a realm like that to be able to? You know, be totally free of outside influence and just do your thing. How 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 is it having having that? Right. For sure, for sure. I mean, I'm kind of like an isolationist. I like to work alone. I like to be alone for the most part. I have friends, but um, I still prefer like solitude. Honestly, um, a lot of my best work comes from when I like kind of like escape wherever I am and go somewhere else and just like hide in a room and just make music. Um, and I think having a world of your own, like, like, uh, my animations do and stuff like that, I think, I, uh, I think that lets me be artistically free. I'm kind of, uh, not trapped by, like, what society, what other people are doing in music, like, uh, in society and shit like that, and, um, what my friends are doing. I'm not really worried about that. I, I just kind of focus on what I want to do and, what just comes out? It's it's freeing. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm sure. Is 
Can you talk to me a little bit about your, your relationship with, with animating and with animation in general and why, why that's such a sort of instrumental part of, of, of you as, as, uh, as a person and, and in this project? For sure, for sure. Um, when I was, well, my dad was an artist um, and he kind of taught me how to draw when I was young. I mean, the stuff that I'm drawing now is not, it's not like fine art. It's not like super polished drawings. It's kind of just like, sketches in my notebook um but I've had like somewhat of an art artist background I guess and um the the animations just came about like when I started making this new sound of music that I was like focusing on I just started scribbling in my notebook and I drew this character that represented me and he looks like me and all that type of shit and uh yeah I I, th I think that it's just been a really cool thing to do when I when I uh, when I get bored of music as like a creative expression, drawing has been a really dope like second avenue for me to like creatively creatively uh, release myself and stuff like that. Yeah, no, definitely. Because it struck me that there's quite a it's quite a, in a, a, a childlike innocence to to the the visual elements yeah. of your work. But yeah. Yeah. Well, the lyrical content is a lot more adult and, and at times quite dark and self-depreciating. Is, is, is that dichotomy important or, or, or is, that, is that something that you reflected on when, when, when writing this stuff or, or is that just, just by, by, by chance? Yeah, I mean, probably a little bit of both. I mean, I'm heavily influenced by uh, Tim Burton and Tim Burton kind of has that like childlike quality, but it's also dark and sinister at the same time. Um, and he's, he's a big inspiration to me, but, um, I, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm still a kid. I, I'm, I'm getting older. I'm still pretty young, but I think I'm still a kid. So I want that innocence to show through, but I do think about dark stuff like a lot. It's, that's mostly what's on my mind, which is fucked up, but it's true. I mean, um, it, it, there, there are. There are points in the music, and and and, and uh, you know, pine pine trees and bad boy, and that that, that are very evocative and, and 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 you know quite jarring at points, and and I uh, and and that seems to be striking a chord with people uh, who seem to be going through similar you know similar trials and day to day battles with them you know, with their own subconscious and their own mind and their own mentality. I mean, was was that something that you were thinking about, sort of reaching out to other people that are in a place of solitude or that are experiencing the feelings that you're you're talking about? Not at all. I was just making music that I felt like represented me. Um, it kind of, Honestly, like, writing about this stuff and recording it helps me. It kind of, like, gets it off my chest. I didn't think about yeah, I didn't think about um, other people at all, honestly. But I'm honored and like so happy that other people have reacted the way they have. I I didn't expect it, and that was like the most beautiful thing. Um, when I read like the comments on like the YouTube um, the YouTube page for Pine Trees or whatever, like these kids are like saying how they've been through the same stuff and how they feel this and that and it's been three years of depression for them and stuff like that and they relate to it. I I was shocked. I did not expect that and it was awesome. And it's kind of given me like a purpose to keep doing this. No, definitely. So uh, you you say that the the, the initial uh, and, and, and the initial idea and, and and elements of the continuing idea was self help and self therapy, but that has that morphed now from what you've just said and seeing this Seeing the reaction, is your output in the future going to be more focused towards, you know, people and an audience rather than just just the sort of very insular, insular looking? No, I don't think so. I think what this has proven to me is that I should continue to do this, like, internal music because other people will relate to it and it can potentially like help them i think if i then if i now start like catering to other to to thinking about the other audience it'll lose the like the 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 authenticity of it you know what i mean 
um, I I want to keep it as me as possible because I think what I'm going through, other people are going through, and they'll relate to that. Um, plus, we got a we got a bunch of songs that I've, I've been working on that it it gets darker, <laughs> it gets darker and more personal. Wow, and it's, it, where, has it ever crossed your mind to to um, lighten up, so to speak, or do, because yeah, the, to have a breadth of emotion, or do you think that that just focusing on on these on these darker moments is 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 where the authenticity comes from? Um, I mean, this is just like where I've been, like in my like head for the last few years so I'm sure you know maybe with success I will feel if success comes you know I will feel in a better place and maybe it will change I I'm just staying true to however I feel in the moment um so yeah right now it's the songs that I have like ready to go and like the stuff that I put out they come from a darker place um so we'll we'll see. I mean, we'll see where the where I, I go with this shit. It's it's, it's interesting that you say success because but for, as earlier you mentioned the sort of writing in a in a sense, a military sense. So is success helping yourself, or or, or is success helping other people? Um, both. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I want to be successful like who doesn't um who doesn't want to want to make money you know or like be have their art respected but um but like i said since since i saw those comments on uh on the pine trees video i i had no idea that was going to happen i i was shocked and that gave me kind of like a reason to really keep doing this like um to see that it was affecting other people and helping them, it it touched my heart more than I think money or fame could. But I, I mean, I still need to be able to provide for myself to like live if I want to be able to do this. But uh, the fact that I could potentially help people or am already potentially helping people is probably the biggest gift. Like it's it, it feels awesome, man. It really does. Like kids, kids will DM, yeah, kids will DM me and text me and like, because I put my number online a little while ago, but um, they'll DM me and text me and like tell me about what they've been through and it's really cool to be able to talk to these kids who are like going through the same shit that I am and it, it feels awesome. I feel like I'm not just making like bullshit pop music. I feel like I'm actually doing something of value that can like help people and that's all the world, man. No, definitely. And are there are there any any contemporaries or, or, or people that you surround yourself with that are doing things similar to this, whether it's um, across art forms or, or is it, as you say, very much just you? Or are you taking influence from anyone in your friend group or, or people that are, you know, are making the style of music? Um, I mean, my friends that I'm around, they make music too. They definitely influence me. Um, uh, just because they're awesome people and they, they keep me going because, you know, sometimes it's kind of dark and the people around me are the ones that really like, they make it all worthwhile and shit like that. But, um, musically like influence, um... No, I don't. I don't think there's anyone currently influencing me. There's people doing similar stuff, I guess, that I fuck with. Um, like, uh, uh, who's dope? Um, Lil Peep is cool. Um, he makes like kind of like alt rock inspired rap music. You know, he's really dope. Um, I think we. I think we have different styles of music though but he definitely is is dope and i uh i fuck with what he's doing um who else uh i mean kid cuddy's not really doing much right now but he he's 
probably a huge influence on me, you know, still. Um, even that even that last album, that rock album, I know it was like a flop, but I thought there were some really cool moments on there. Um, that that probably did inspire me, for sure. Um, yeah. So the, you, by design, are a, are a bedroom producer, or, or as the uh, Generation X would say, a, uh, a SoundCloud producer. To the naked to the naked eye, to, to someone that doesn't know you hasn't had this story. Do you I, 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 I try and ask people this because I I I'm interested in, in their response, but do you find the term bedroom producer to be um deprecatory? Do you do you find that to be something that uh is aligned with not having perfected your craft or, or are you are you um, okay and confident with that term? <laughs> I'm happy with the term. I mean, I I could get into like studios if I really wanted to. I don't like the studio atmosphere. Um, I like I said earlier, I don't even really like working with people. You know, even if it's at their studios, like their homes or whatever. I like being in my bedroom. It, it like is freeing to me. I can do whatever I want. It feels comfortable. You know, I light prayer candles, put them all around my room and just like pace around my room and write as I listen to the, the instrumental or whatever like that. It's just, that's just how I like it. Um, and I think the fact that I can do all this from my bedroom, producing, writing, recording, doing the art, um, I think that speaks more to, to, to what I'm doing out here. So, no, I don't find it. I don't find it negative at all. I actually, I like it. To go back to this, from you know, from what you said, being totally insular and and have and and you know, wanting to write on your own. Is there? Would you not say that there's there's a touch of arrogance there, and in, in, in that you're that you are so confident in the quality. Of your output that you don't need anybody else. Well, it's not even it's not even the quality. Like my stuff is not high quality. Um, you know, like my producer friends will like will will make fun of me for it and stuff. Like my my mixing is not good. Um, <laughs> I can't really do drums well. But to me, the point is not it's not about quality. It's just about raw emotion. And having something that's real and the vibe, um, and that's what I think is missing in a lot of music nowadays. It's it's too produced. It's too good. Um, I don't think my stuff is is super good when it comes to that type of stuff. I think it's I think it's just honest, and that's what draws people in. Um, I've tried to do like higher end production stuff and. It also just doesn't really work for me. I think I sound better when it's kind of like raw, and yeah. But uh, so there. I mean, I don't know if it's arrogance. Um, I I'm very confident in my art. At the same time, I'm very like not confident in it. I'm I, I'm always questioning myself. I'm always doubting myself. But I think any any person, any artist, does that. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't think quality is what it needs to have, and it, it doesn't. It's it's you know what I mean. You seem you seem, you seem very uh, you seem very grounded in in your your processes of artistic creation. Certainly, I I I going from that what. I just want more people to uh, honestly like the biggest thing I'd like right now is that those YouTube videos where these the lyric videos I the biggest thing I'd like is just for more people to open up on them 
like and talk about what they're going through. I think that'd be the coolest thing if that becomes like a safe space where people can talk about mental health and and uh, just their struggles, you know. Um, other than that, I just want to keep releasing music uh, and uh, you know see where that goes. Keep making art. It's my favorite thing to do in the world. Be Besides eat and sleep. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, I think that is a lovely way to leave it. Hell yeah.